despite the ongoing tensions between Gaza and Israel. This unleashed a plethora of brutality by the militant group on Israeli unarmed civilians. We do not want durable peace at the Holy Land. They need chaos in the Middle East. In the ever-volatile Middle East, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine has been a source of global concern for decades. The situation in Gaza, a narrow strip of land along the Mediterranean coast, has been particularly tumultuous. Recently, Russia sent a shocking warning to Israel in the context of this ongoing conflict, raising eyebrows and sparking discussions about the complex dynamics in the region. In this video, we will delve into the background of the Israel-Palestine conflict, explore Russia's role in the region, and dissect the warning that has sent shockwaves through the international community. The Israel-Palestine conflict is a long-standing and deeply rooted issue that dates back to the late 19th century, when Jewish immigration to Palestine, then part of the Ottoman Empire, began to intensify. The conflict has its roots in the competing national aspirations of Jews and Arabs in the region. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a plan to partition Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states, with Jerusalem under international administration. While the Jewish leadership accepted this proposal, Arab nations rejected it, leading to a series of wars, which ultimately resulted in the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948. Since then, the conflict has ebbed and flowed, with multiple wars and uprisings, such as the Six-Day War in 1967 and the First and Second Intifadas in the late 20th century, causing significant loss of life and suffering on both sides. The crux of the issue revolves around competing claims to land, borders, refugees, and the status of Jerusalem. Gaza, a densely populated strip of land measuring just 365 square kilometers, has been a major flashpoint in the Israel-Palestine conflict. It is home to over 2 million Palestinians and has been under the control of Hamas, a Palestinian militant group since 2007. The ongoing Israeli blockade of Gaza, which restricts the movement of goods and people, has contributed to dire humanitarian conditions in the territory. Gazans endure shortages of basic necessities, limited access to health care, and inadequate infrastructure. The recent tensions in Gaza escalated when Israel launched a military operation against Hamas following attacks by Palestinian militants. The conflict resulted in heavy casualties on both sides and drew international condemnation. Ceasefires have been brokered, but the underlying issues remain unresolved, creating a tinderbox ready to ignite at any moment. Russia's involvement in the Middle East has been steadily increasing over the past decade. While it has historically been a key player in the region, particularly during the Cold War, its influence had waned in the years following the collapse of the Soviet Union. However, under President Vladimir Putin's leadership, Russia has reasserted itself as a major player in the Middle East. One of the primary drivers of Russia's renewed interest in the region is its pursuit of strategic and economic interests. The Middle East is home to vast energy resources, and Russia, as a major energy exporter, seeks to maintain stability in the region to protect its own interests. Additionally, the Middle East serves as a stage for Russia to project its influence on the global stage and challenge the dominance of the United States. Russia's involvement in Syria, where it has supported the regime of President Bashar al-Assad, has been a central element of its Middle East strategy. Moscow's military intervention in Syria in 2015 turned the tide of the Syrian civil war in favor of the Assad regime and solidified Russia's role as a key player in the conflict. Russia's military presence in Syria has enabled it to establish a naval base in Tartus and an air base in Latakia, giving it a significant foothold in the eastern Mediterranean. Against this backdrop of Russia's growing influence in the Middle East, the shocking warning to Israel in Gaza-Palestine is a matter of great concern. While the details of the warning have not been made public, it is believed to have been conveyed through diplomatic channels and may have been related to Israel's actions in Gaza. Russia has maintained a relatively balanced stance in the Israel-Palestine conflict, often calling for a two-state solution and advocating for negotiations to resolve the dispute. However, its recent warning to Israel suggests a shift in its approach and a more assertive stance. One possible reason behind Russia's warning could be its desire to protect its strategic interests in the region. 
As the conflict in Gaza escalates, there is a risk that it could spill over into neighboring countries, including Syria and Lebanon, where Russia has a significant presence. Any widening of the conflict could jeopardize Russia's position and undermine its efforts to maintain stability in the region. Furthermore, Russia's warning may be a signal to Israel and the international community that it is willing to take a more proactive role in the Israel-Palestine conflict. Moscow has previously attempted to position itself as a mediator in the conflict, and this warning could be seen as an effort to assert its influence and push for a more active role in the peace process. Russia's warning to Israel has garnered attention from the international community, with various countries and organizations reacting to the development. The United States, a longtime ally of Israel, has expressed concern over the situation and called for restraint on all sides. The European Union has also called for a de-escalation of tensions and a return to negotiations. The United Nations, which has a long history of involvement in the Israel-Palestine conflict, has urged all parties to exercise maximum restraint and avoid actions that could further exacerbate the situation. Secretary General Antonio Guterres has emphasized the need for a two-state solution and renewed efforts to resume peace talks. Arab states in the region have condemned Russia's warning to Israel, expressing solidarity with the Palestinian cause. They have called for an end to Israeli aggression in Gaza and the lifting of the blockade. The Arab League, in particular, has been vocal in its support for the Palestinian people and their right to self-determination. Russia's warning to Israel in Gaza-Palestine carries significant implications for the ongoing conflict and the wider Middle East region. Here are some of the key ramifications. Russia's warning may prompt Israel to reassess its relationships in the region. Israel has traditionally had strong ties with the United States, but if Russia becomes more involved in the Israel-Palestine conflict, Israel may seek to diversify its diplomatic relationships to protect its interests. Russia's more assertive stance could lead to a greater role in mediating the conflict. If both Israel and Palestine are willing to engage with Russia as a mediator, it could potentially open new avenues for peace negotiations. The Israel-Palestine conflict has the potential to destabilize the entire Middle East region. Russia's warning may be an attempt to prevent such instability and protect its interests in neighboring countries like Syria and Lebanon. Russia's involvement in the Israel-Palestine conflict adds another layer of complexity to the global diplomatic landscape. It could lead to increased competition between major powers, including the United States, China, and Russia, as they vie for influence in the Middle East. The Israel-Palestine conflict is a complex and emotionally charged issue that has far-reaching consequences not only for the people directly involved, but also for the stability of the broader Middle East region and the global balance of power. The shockwaves generated by Russia's warning to Israel highlight the intricate web of alliances, interests, and historical grievances that continue to shape the conflict's dynamics. Israel, as a nation, faces a delicate balancing act. On one hand, it is keenly aware of its historical ties to Western powers, particularly the United States, which has been a staunch ally and supporter. On the other hand, Russia's increasing involvement in the region cannot be ignored. The Israeli government must carefully navigate this diplomatic tightrope, ensuring that its actions align with its long-term strategic interests while considering the potential repercussions of provoking any of its international partners. The role of Russia in the Middle East has evolved significantly over the past decade, largely due to its military intervention in Syria. This intervention has bolstered Russia's position as a key player in the region, enabling it to exert influence and project power well beyond its traditional sphere of influence. The warning to Israel is a testament to Russia's willingness to use its newfound clout to protect its interests and assert itself in regional conflicts. Russia's shocking warning to Israel and Gaza-Palestine is a reflection of the complex and ever-evolving dynamics in the Middle East. The Israel-Palestine conflict with its deep-rooted historical grievances and competing national aspirations, has defied resolution for decades. Russia's decision to assert itself in this conflict, whether as a mediator or a protector of its interests, has the potential to shape the course of future negotiations and actions in the region. The international community must closely monitor developments in the Israel-Palestine conflict, and engage in diplomatic efforts to de-escalate tensions and promote a peaceful resolution. 
It is imperative that all parties involved prioritize the well-being and security of the people living in the region, who have endured decades of suffering and deserve a just and lasting peace. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on.